Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Keyring toys have always been fascinating to me. <laughs> and today I'm going to show you seven of the most badass keyrings things that you can buy on Amazon and elsewhere. <laughs> and we begin with this little thing here, which is actually half toy, half tool. How should I put it? Uh, it's seven euros on Amazon, so on Amazon Germany, so it's not very expensive. And it has a built-in fidget spinner and a functional one. It actually turns for quite a long while. So a uh, you know, very smooth operation. It comes with two key rings and it has a carbine hook on this end here. Not really sure why you need key rings here and another carbine thing here. Well, <laughs> and it does have a bottle opener. Of course, if it has a bottle open opener, it's perfect. And it even has a tiny little blade here. So you can open this and then you have a tiny blade. I guess it's like for opening things, but it's not sharp at all. So if you want to use this, you have to sharpen it first. So it's pretty cheesy and um, not really super well made, but funny. So I give it a 6 out of 10. Next we have this really, really small little pocket knife, like a key ring lighter. And I think it's rather cool looking with this, uh, you know, transparent case. And what I love is that if you press the button, you instantly have a lot of light. I mean, look at that, how bright it is. And you can, of course, also cycle through the individual steps. So, so you could just have a flashlight built in here and you can have like a small red light. So you cycle it through the motions. And I think that's rather, that's a, it's a rather good idea. But mostly, of course, I love the fact that you just press the button and as long as you keep it pressed, you have a really powerful light. This is 17 euros on Amazon Germany and I actually give it a seven out of 10. <laughs> so this next thing really kept me thinking. I mean, it, it was very shiny. I didn't even read the text when I ordered it just because shiny. <laughs> so it has a little keychain here. And uh, now I found out that I can actually unscrew this here. And if I do, this kind of half pipe comes out. I have no idea what that is. I mean, is this like a mini spoon? What is it for? Hmm. I don't know. Do you know? Well, let me know in the comments. I will keep thinking about it and come back to this later. Maybe you have an inspiration. <laughs> I think I got it. I think it's so that you can always carry some salt with you. Like this very good you know, Jodine Alpine salt that we use in our kitchen. So, of course, this is a little bulky, so you can't really take it with you. But you can take a small amount with you in this thing and then use this to just have just the right amount of salt. For example, using it on an egg because it's Easter time. Okay. Yeah, so I really like eating eggs, but there's got to be some salt on it. But there is just one major problem. This is that the salt would not stick on it. It would just drop down instantly. But I have a trick. You have to lick the egg before you salt it and then the salt stays on. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> it's about 18 euros on Amazon. And since it's not that practical, I give it a 3 out of 10. Next, we have this little set up here. It's only eight euros <laughs> and it's actually two screwdrivers yes one phillips type and one regular uh, screwdriver and you know it comes with a key ring and with a little sign that says if you can fix it no one can well i'm not so sure i mean it's probably not true for my toyota i don't think i can fix too many things on it but the guy said toyota can <laughs> um so it also has a few tools here like this little you know things here so you can you can use this to uh, you know work on nuts and bolts and this one has the uh, notorious bottle opener 
so so it is kind of cool but i would love you know to see like removable bits here that you can also have torx bits and so on so for eight euros i think this is not the greatest setup in the world i give it a five out of ten next one is one of my favorites because this is what i currently carry on my uh, keyring and as you see it's made from titanium it's extremely nice let me see if the camera focuses it's extremely well made very very lightweight there is a really really smooth carbine hook built in and you can also open bottles with it yes <laughs> you even have like a little ruler built in but the most impressive feature is this built-in little scalpel knife that you can open and it, it really works nice it, I mean it even clicks in place a little bit you can replace the scalpel blade and so this is absolutely practical it's very sharp of course it's a scalpel blade and this makes it so practical for a lot of things and it's so sleek no one can even see it it's 50 euros well it's titanium but because it's so well made and so pretty and so useful i give it nine out of ten points this one here is also really nice i really like it it's only 10 euros so it's not expensive it has a carbine hook also built in so very easy to attach it to your belt or to your keyring and um, as you see it also has more tools so you can use this to open metric nuts like pretty much any size it's not the best one but better than nothing clearly and uh, of course it also has a bottle opener built in which is really nice but the cool feature uh, of course you have a little no, normal screwdriver uh, part here but the coolest thing is that it has a hidden knife blade so if you press down on this here then you can pull it out like so and you can even put it back in like so and then it's really rigid so this is really like a fixed blade almost and it gives you great control i mean you can control it with three fingers really so it is a practical knife at 10 euros and in such a slim little design i really like it and therefore i give it an 8 out of 10. okay this next thing is probably the coolest of the collection and the only one that you cannot buy on amazon you gotta buy it in the gogan store it's the Boca usb out the front and that's what it can do <laughs> yes it's an out the front springer and it's legal in germany because the blade is not longer than four centimeters and it's not wider than one centimeter and the bka the highest authority um, that is actually um, categorizing guns and weapons has uh, decided that this is not a regulated item because the blade is short and uh, slim so therefore this is illegal to carry anywhere in germany because it's considered a toy well we'll put it to test i have to say at 60 euros it's not cheap but this is d2 steel this is uh, aircraft aluminum um, it does have a clip and it also does have the possibility to put it on your keyring i just love it because it's, it also is great fun to play around with this here <laughs> come on how cool is that but is it dangerous is it really a useful knife we'll put it to the test now i have here a piece of beef entrecote that I bought for dinner tonight and so we're not going to waste it we're going to eat it and uh, it was actually cheaper just because probably it's already gone no it's actually it's holding another three weeks or so so this one was just under 12 euros for uh, 920 grams so almost a kilo more than uh, more than two pounds so I think it's an acceptable price for an undercoat I hope it's good quality but we'll use it for a cutting test now and we will keep it in the foil just so that the juice is not going to drip out i want to eat it and second also to simulate skin and this is pretty tough foil i mean this is probably even tougher than skin we'll test it <laughs> so whoa whoa look at that guckt euch das mal an was das für ein schnitt ist Good meat, wirklich gutes Fleisch. Excellent beef sushi. <laughs> so this gets 10 from 10 points, I think. Would you not agree? Oops. <laughs> Before I go, 
I want to show you the progress on my latest concept, the pantograph knife. Um, and uh, as you know, I want to make a knife that is actually legal to carry in Germany, even though it is a long dagger and it's sharp on both sides. <laughs> Such knives normally are not legal to carry in Germany, except, of course, if they fall into certain categories and are not considered weapons. And with the so-called Hirschfänger, it's like a deer killer, like a deer hunter knife. This is, a, this is a clear exception in the German law, saying that this is not considered a weapon because of its decorative function, because it's usually now used by traditional you know, hunters as a part of the outfit and it's not really used as a weapon anymore. But so therefore I try to make it looking like this. So this is still a wooden prototype, but I attached some deer scales and also colored it like in silver now and gave it some uh, fake inscription like engravings. And it still works like a pentograph knife, of course. So this is it in full long version. And you see it says Weidmanns Heil on here, which is a traditional uh, greeting formula of hunters in Germany. And it says Der Hirschfänger on the other side. So, uh, and now in this condition, you can actually carry it in this condition. It is actually very strong because of the linear forces that go through the whole thing. And I think it looks rather pretty with the uh, horn scales here. So I'm thinking to send this over to Böker to make me a quotation and maybe produce a limited quantity of those. What do you think? Would you want one? <laughs> now, let me close it again for you. And as you see in close condition, we got the, uh, the deer right here. So that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>